The global economy remains trapped in a prolonged episode of slow growth. In 2016, global GDP growth fell to 2.2%, and this was the slowest pace since the Great Recession of 2009. The report we are launching um, projects a modest recovery of the economy around 2.7% for 2017 and 2.9% in 2018. Let's remember that global GDP in 2016 was only 2.2. Of course, if we consider 2016 as the bottom of the current cycle, we would like to believe that we are at the start of a recovery uh, path. However, this prolonged um, slowdown has been driven by a self-perpetuating cycle of weak investment, as well as a slower growth in global trade. Also, slow productivity growth, as well as high level of debt, has been affecting this whole trend. We need to be mindful that returning to um, a strong and balanced global growth is a situation that will not be, we will not see soon. For that to be achieved, we need to emphasize stronger concerted policy efforts to stimulate investment and productivity. Overall, a more balanced policy is needed. That means we need to continue with um, monetary policy support. We need more effective fiscal policies. And all of that should be complemented uh, by the enhancement of structural reforms in the economies of many countries. All those policy efforts, of course, should also ensure that the benefits of growth are well distributed and that country also address policies that focus on elimination of poverty and the reduction of inequalities. All of these have to be put in the context of a deeper international cooperation. This is very much needed to expedite things like clean technology transfer, raise climate finance, um, strengthen international cooperation in tax issues, and address challenges posed by large movements of refugees and migrants. All of these not necessarily elements that could be considered economic, but undoubtedly affect the economies of many countries around the world.